All right, what up, too? Back at you. So, wanted to come out here, got some parts in, want to do the big break swap, and talked to some people on a couple of forums, found out that there's a company, uh, the name of the company, give me one second, let me go ahead and, and tell you right now. Name of the company is Big Break Upgrades. So, they have what I'm what I'm looking for. So went and ordered uh, two of the parts, the brackets that go to the front, as well as the brackets that go to the back. So I know I have, I should have everything that I need to do the back. So I'm gonna definitely do the back, but I'm also gonna look at the front. So there's a couple of things that I needed to get that I don't have. One of them is on back order, and I'll explain that here in a little bit, but. I wanna get seeing and looking at it, uh, just doing a quick little mock, make sure everything fits on the um, the rims the way I need it to, or, or the, the hubs and stuff the way I need them to, and make sure that the rims fit. Just getting an idea of where I'm at and what I'll need. So yeah, just stay tuned and uh, I'll bring some more of that footage. All right, Tube, so here is the back brackets. It comes with the brackets, all the um, hardware that you need to bolt everything on. But here's the back bracket. Um, it also comes with some shims to a shim to shim it out. And then here's the front brackets. So what I'm gonna need, I know I should have everything that I need for the for the rear. Now the the next thing that I need to figure out is is the holes that I have for, I mean, is the studs that I put in long enough. So that's gonna be one thing. So here's the beauty of it. So I'm running a different um, lug. The lug that I'm running right now, or stud, the studs that I'm running now are a M14 by one, one and a half. And those are on the new Camaros. So I'm running, a, I'm running those versus the Chevelles, which is way smaller. So the original joints. So. I have those, which is good, because I had to switch those up for the Range Rover just because of the rims that I was running on. Uh, I had brought the rims off of a Range Rover, and they had the Range Rover uh, uh, bolt and pattern and all that stuff in a different lug. So this here is the front hub for the Camaro itself. So I won't be able to use this, but this... This uh, lug here is the same lug as what I had in the um, the Chevelle itself. Now, with these here, the rotors are a part of the hub and everything like that. So every time you change your 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 brakes, um, you have to you know basically either get new studs or bang these out and reuse them or whatever the case may be. I want to go to a hub system that the hubs stay on and I can use the regular uh, rotors versus having to run these. So at the big break, the the uh, big break upgrades, they have a hub, a billet hub that I can get, but they would need to machine it out so I can fit the gnarl of this. So when I press it in, it goes in and, it's, and it fits uh, real tight and snug. Now there's other places that make that hub as well. You have CPP and Core 3. Now the price difference is real big. So Big Break, I believe they're running theirs at like, like 460 or something like that. Um, with CPP, theirs are like, two, like 200. Uh, and then core three, I want to say theirs are at like three and some change. Now core three and big break, they're running uh, a, a billet aluminum. So with theirs, at, with the billet aluminum, obviously it's aluminum is lighter um, and all that other jazz. With CPP, I believe theirs is not aluminum. Um, it's just regular cast. Uh, and so that's why it's probably cheaper. But... The issue with that one is they're on back order until November, I mean, sorry, until April 23rd or 24th or something like that when they'll ship. 
Now, for me, my car is not in the driving state, so I ordered the cheaper ones, and I'll just wait for those to come in. So I'm still gonna, you know, put the uh, bracket on and all that other stuff. Just want to make sure the front works, um, and then just go from there. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at with the front. So I won't do really much of nothing with the front until you know middle end of April. Hopefully they ship it a little bit earlier. So that's these brackets right here. Now. I already have this off, as y'all can see. So these brackets will go, this bracket will go somewhere, somewhere here. I'm not sure if it goes to the outside, the inside. I'll figure that out here in a minute. But it goes somewhere here. And then the, uh, the brake, the, uh, the actual brake will fit on here and, and, and do what it needs to do. So the hub, that I ordered is going to be very similar to the factory hub where it uh, slide on. Uh, and uh, so once I get that in, I'll go ahead and start moving along with that. But for right now, I'm gonna get ready to take off the back and the back rim and then start messing around with that. I should be able to fit all that on there. Plus I got a set of rotors from that Camaro. So I'm gonna see if those fit. I may have to also change out the 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 rotors itself so uh, we'll see but yeah just stay tuned and uh i'll get back with you all right so you can see i got the um the rim off here took the rim off and so now i have to get the axle out and what i have in the kit it comes with so you're gonna have these four bolts here uh, these goes with this shim here and these uh, bolts right here they go on the backhand side of this here and then I have these shims here that go on the backhand side of the brake right here in the back and then these two bolts here that go on the back of the brake as well. So, and then that all lines up with this way. That all lines up with one of these guys here. And you put that guy on and there's no left or right on this one. They're both cut the same. So you should have two of these going on right here. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the axle and then I'm gonna just mock this all on. And then I have a set of rotors that I wanna put on just to see if it'll fit. All right, so stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, two, back at you. So as you can see, I have the bracket on. I don't have it down real tight. And I ran into my first issue, which I already knew it was gonna be a possibility that it was gonna be an issue, but it's um, one of the things that I've seen on one of the forums that you may have to switch over to uh, the Z06, Corvette Z06 um, rotors because they have a larger diameter hole for them. So if I look at these here, let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna do it from the backhand side and then I'll show y'all. But if I check the diameter of this here, I'm gonna be roughly at, at, I think I messed that one up just a little bit. Let me get one more measurement on this thing. All right, tighten it down. All right, so this one, I'm gonna be roughly if it could focus up just a little bit at about 69, 70 millimeters. And then if I walk it over to the left rear rotor and check the same thing, Let's see what this guy's gonna be. This is at 67, so it's a little off. Now, yeah, I can go ahead and take a wide wheel and grind it down a little bit uh, so it can sit. But 
I'm gonna probably just look at ordering some some of those rotors. I may do it for right now just for fitting purposes, but yeah, so stay tuned on that. As I get more information on it, I'll post it as I get closer, but um, had a free day, so I want to try to mock this thing up. But these rotors that come off the actual Camaro will not work for your car. You may have to get the bigger bore size for your hub, which I would say somewhere around 70 millimeters would be good. And hopefully that'll work. So yeah, just stay tuned and I'll bring you some more of this footage. All right, Tube, so got everything put on. It, there's no scraping or nothing like that. I mean, it barely clears, but there's no scraping. Plus I don't have the rotor on that rotor is going to push it out just a little bit more to give me a little bit more clearance so i mean it swaps it's on there so i mean let me brighten it up a little bit i mean i'm happy with it got the back brakes on and i just mocked it up again um i'm gonna have to look into those z06 uh rotors i know some people say that they go on rock auto and purchase a set from there for like $200, $300, something like that. So I'm gonna look into that. But yeah, the brakes are on. I don't got all the lugs on. I just got some of them tightened down. So, you know, there's no, no scraping or nothing like that going on. So yeah, the back brakes, looks like those will work. And now I just gotta wait for the hubs to come in for the front as well as um, some new uh, studs. So I'm gonna order some new studs for these as well. I'm gonna take these studs out. I'm gonna order some new ones, some um, some new ARP ones, some longer studs. So I order some for the front and I'm gonna order uh, some for the rear and swap those out when I do the whole complete deal. So I just wanted to get an idea how it's going to fit and everything. So right now, I mean, I'm happy with it. I think, you know, everything will work out the way it needs to work out. And yeah. So yeah, stay tuned to, uh, I ain't dead. I'm just, you know, grinding. So whenever I get this opportunity to come out, I'm out here. So next is going to be the front. I already started taking that apart, so that's going to be the next thing. All right, too. Figured I'd mess around with the front a little bit. Check it out, see where I'm at, see what I got to do. So, first thing I had to do was, let me just take this out. Um, in, the, in the pack, you get, you get this bracket here. Um, you get... One of these bolts here, you get one of these washers, and this is for each side. And then you get two of these bolts here, and that you should have that on each side. Now, this, mine's is a factory disc, so this is on here just like that. So, got to take this off, which I did. Uh, it's only two bolts, and now I'm working on putting that one in. Now, I could take this off to make it easier. And I'm gonna see if I can cheat and keep this dust shield on real quick. I'm just doing for mock-up purposes. Um, if I can do that and cheat and make it work, then I'm cool with that. If not, then I'll take it off. But right now I'm just trying to be a little bit lazy, really just trying to be fast. So yeah, just stay tuned. I'll bring some more of this footage, see if I can get the, the big fronts on and we'll wrap it up and I'll figure out what I need for the rest of this build. So. All right, I'll holler at you. All right, two. So I got the bracket on. So basically, it's a little bit off. So they supplied this shim. Uh, where is it? Right here. So they, they supplied this shim right here. This goes up top, right in here, with this fatter bolt right here. And they it's bigger than the normal bolt. So... Here's the difference between the two. 
That's the that's the one that came out of factory. This is one with the uh, that came with the kit. So obviously it's a little bit bigger. Um, and part of that is because of the shim and it's off. So you want to make sure that it lines up. So they did a good job with that. I did just loosen this here. Took that whole uh, piece off just so I can get this to fit in. And then they supplied me with a new um, longer bolt, which is this guy here with some washers and locking and, and locking washers and stuff like that. So, and that's over this right here, the stock one. So that's out. Um, and now I'm gonna put this on, make sure it fits and go from there. And then other than that, once, once I know it fits, all I know, I just need, I know I just need to get the new hub. I did order a set of two inch drop spindles for the Chevelle as well. So they're going to be here. So I'm going to have to take these spindles off and put the two inch drop spindles on there because I want it to be a little bit lower so I could do the adjustable with my uh, QA1 adjustable coilovers in so I can adjust the height a little bit better. And I know later down the road, I want to get a Flaming River, um, the the uh, rack and pinion. Um, so I'm, I know I want to get that. So, but right now, I'm going to continue to focus on this. I'm going to put this on and I'll fade back to you real quick and get back on it. All right, two. So time for me to pack it up. But uh, brakes fit on there. No problems, no major issues. So, see it's on there. Now I just gotta wait for my hub to come in, which that won't be until the mid or end of April. So I gotta wait that long for them. But, got them on. Everything looked like it fits well. I just got them down hand tightened. Like I said, my drop spindles will come before that, so I'll probably swap out the, the drop spindles, do the other side for the uh, drop spindles as well as the rear and put everything together order those uh, rotors and I think I should be I think I should be good so yeah anyway I'm gonna keep on trying to come up with some more of this footage and keep on working keep on plugging away and hopefully one day it'll be a rolling car and I can drive it and and then one day I'll get to playing around with the dash and all that stuff. That's literally on the back burner. So, but yeah, just stay tuned too. And yeah, I'll holla at y'all, man.